Hi everyone, and welcome to the last video of the Excel shortcut series. In the previous videos, we looked at various types of shortcuts, including navigation, selection, grid operation, and formatting. These categories contain what I believe are the most useful shortcuts in Excel. If you've watched the previous videos, you may now be asking yourself, how can I get into the habit of using these shortcuts? This is the purpose of today's video, where I'll cover tips and tricks to make using shortcuts a habit. The first tip is to stop using the mouse when using Excel. Consider disconnecting or disabling your mouse when using Excel, which will encourage you to use the keys instead. For example, instead of selecting with your mouse, you can use the arrows to navigate the sheet instead. The second tip is to hide the Excel ribbon. There are two ways you can do this. Firstly, you can click Control F1 on a Windows computer, or you can simply right click the ribbon and then click Collapse the ribbon. By hiding the ribbon, you'll be encouraged to use the Alt key more frequently. For example, to show the Home tab, we first click Alt followed by H as you can see here. The final tip is to keep a shortcuts document containing the main shortcuts you use. I've provided the main shortcuts we've covered in the last few videos here. You can access this in the description below. This will always give you something to refer back to if you're unsure of any shortcuts and if you come across any new ones you can add them here as well. So those are the three main ways to make shortcuts stick. If you take these three actions, I can assure you that you will gradually feel more and more comfortable using shortcuts. This therefore brings us to the end of this series. To summarise, we started by introducing shortcuts and explaining why they are important. We then covered navigation shortcuts to help you move around an Excel workbook efficiently. Next, we discussed selection shortcuts, which involve selecting cells, columns and rows. This was followed by grid operation, in other words, inserting and deleting cells and filling columns and rows. Finally, we covered formatting shortcuts, which involve shortcuts to make Excel sheets look more professional. I hope you found this series useful. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the Excel Hub for weekly Excel tutorials, techniques and examples.